Hey guys, hello. So we're just going to wait for a couple of seconds for and let more people join in. Okay, great. So let's get started. So uh, I would just like to begin uh, by introducing myself and my work. So I'm a homeopath. I have done my homeopathy from Mumbai. Uh, from uh, I have actually done from two colleges. So yeah, uh, and I've done uh, my homeopathy from Mumbai. I've studied from Mumbai and now I'm practicing in Indore. I have two clinics here and I also uh, see patients online through online consultation all across the globe from different cities and uh, countries and I think that's how I think I can talk a bit about how to become a global homeopath and that is why I've chosen this topic because due to pandemic a lot of us are uh, want to start consulting people online but then we don't know how to go about and here I am to just help you a bit as much as I can uh, on this niche um, uh, so uh, apart from uh, having online consultation, what makes me eligible to talk about this topic is also because um, I have, uh, I am an expert in digital marketing and uh, I have also my own startup, which is specially for doctors uh, named Dr. Go Digital on Facebook and Instagram. You can just find us and follow us. So uh, yeah, we have been uh, giving tips and helping people to get patients online and we are also creating a course for doctors which uh, is going to turn out to be super amazing and it will it will it is going to be a blueprint and step by step step guide of what has helped me uh, get uh, patients online and uh, maybe will help you as well inshallah okay so that's how we are working uh, it's a company which i'm funding and i have a partner and all of that so coming back to, uh, I'm just going to be, I know you are ex expecting a lot of fancy stuff that is going to help you get patients online, but I'm going to keep it really practical, simple and um, applicable because that is what is more important. You might watch this live and, but at the end of the day, you would want to go back and uh, uh, apply things right so let's keep it really simple and not go into a lot of fancy things so starting with uh, first of all uh, to be able to consult people online you need to have a good amount of knowledge about uh, your, your clinical part should be very clear so whether you are a student or a practitioner if you are a student then this is the good time to join different doctors get experience from different doctors and your clinical part should be really clear because when you are when you are consulting patient across the screen you your knowledge should has to be really really fine to identify to understand the diagnosis not even the diagnosis but at least the condition of the patient because you need to know things clearly before you would want to prescribe anything right so that is the reason your clinical part should be very good uh, so if you have worked with any of the doctors or if you have already done your internship okay then maybe you can join a hospital and if you have your experience of your own clinic then it is great but if you are just a starter a student and you do not have any clinical background then you cannot become a global homeopath right because you need some skills and this is one of it you need uh, to understand the patient across the screen and this is easy when you have good clinical knowledge theory is very important here because you can only ask the patient you cannot clinically examine them so it's important that you talk the talk to the patient ask precise questions and get precise answers it's very important now that was point number one coming to point number two you have to become gadget friendly. Like if you ask me, uh, when I had my first patient online, it was so difficult. I was still doing hard copies, writing cases and everything. So you, I know we all belong from the same family of doctors and uh, we, we are geeks, we need books. I have like a pile of books next, right next to me all the time. I, I, even if I have a software, I need to refer them. So I understand, I get you, I totally get you. But the point here is you have to become gadget friendly because that's the only way that you can connect to people. 
so you need to know a bit about word excel drive how to save files there and uh, you have to get on social media we'll cover that later but then the second point is uh, you have to become gadget friendly which is extremely important uh, now when i say about gadget friendly i also want to mention here that no need in investing in fancy gadgets no 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 need at all you don't really need an expensive um, camera or computer or hard disk or uh, anything for that matter a, sim a simple mobile phone just a laptop will do the work will do the job okay it's, it's more than sufficient good internet connection and yeah that's it but you need to be gadget friendly at least next is social media existence how can you expect a patient to come to you if you are not if you do not exist on social media right that is where they search search for you so uh, see becoming global homeopath sounds really fancy and nice but what's global global is everything compacted on internet so you have to be there on internet and how do you be there first of all create your existence on all on all profiles across social media beginning with something very basic uh, maybe like instagram facebook something like that and um, i you can create your existence on various profiles but what i would suggest you is create your existing existence on various profile but focus on developing one just focus on creating content on one then you can copy paste on others right so that should be your uh, one of the goals if you want to become a global homeopath next what do you do okay now uh, i have um, become clinical expert then i have become gadget friendly i have created my existence on social media these are the three things i i discussed now what do i do on social media do i share my personal life do i ask people to get consult to get to come to me and i should give them consultation no help people give them value give them value for free because you are an expert you have a ton of knowledge in your field so give them value for free and that is how they develop faith and trust and and that and getting a patient online it's like a cherry on the cake but your primary aim should be giving them value it should be a win win situation you are an expert you like uh, helping people and and they need you and that is why they get value from you and that's how they develop trust and relationship and later they will turn into your patients so that's very important you cannot be salesy come on you're a doctor you cannot sell yourself right but you can definitely give value and that is how you develop you build trust and relationships um fifth important thing is um that you need to, need to get your systems in place basically uh, if i want a patient online but um, uh, you know i don't know how to use zoom i don't have any setup to collect patient data i uh, i don't know how am i going to collect payment so these are the things that you need once you once you get a client on board these are the systems that you want uh, that you want it to be in place right so these are the things uh, that uh, should be on place uh, before you start getting online because you cannot haphazardly see someone right and you don't have any uh, resources later no you need to build these things up because you need to have clear systems to show to people you need to have clear systems to go through it because if you don't have it then you can also get into medical legal issues so it's better to have correct systems first or create as you get patients and uh, then maybe have the best systems in some time but then you would definitely uh, need systems uh, something at the start you cannot just stand start blankly right so that is the fifth thing so i'm just going to recall everything quickly first is your clinical knowledge second is you should be gadget friendly third is uh, existence on social media then giving value once you exist on social media and then having your system in place so that is like five things okay so coming to the sixth one which is really important but nobody pays attention is networking okay if i spend uh, say one hour on social media on an average okay you you might be spending one hour every human is spending like more than 3 hours since lockdown but on a on a on a minimum level even if i spend one hour then you know most of the times we are just scrolling through all of our all of our social media profiles for 40 minutes and maybe just liking commenting and talking to people for another uh, you know 10 20 minutes or so 
so it should be the opposite you should scroll for 10 minutes and the other 10 20 minutes and the other uh, 40 minutes should go into engaging with people talking with people making real friends so this is how people get to know you people that is how people get to know you how genuine you are uh, the time where people used to look at the board and come to you at your clinic is now gone now is the time when people need to trust you build relationship need to know what you're doing so that is the point uh, that is one thing which we lack we think that having an existing on so existence on social media and giving value is just enough and people are going to come to me no you need to network you need to build relationships build relationship in areas where you think that these, these this is my this is the place where i can get my clients from and it should not be with the intention of getting clients, but it should be with the intention of uh, building relationships. Uh, a person uh, since, you know, with whom I have relationships since three to four years on social media, like, you know, or maybe a friend or somebody uh, whom we mutually support each other or somebody uh, who, whose work I really like. So they might not turn into my patients, but that definitely is going to be your investment and is going to give you uh, some compound interest later on so networking is extremely important that is the sixth thing at the end uh, yeah we are almost at the end so the seventh uh, important point is that never be ashamed to learn and start again okay so never ever be ashamed to learn and start again because you are a doctor you are a medico so it's okay to not to not know a certain things it's okay to not uh, know things about other systems of medicine it's okay to not know things about um, certain things about gadgets or uh, systems or anything it's it's completely fine so if you think that you know i have passed out medical college and i know a lot of things so now i don't have to study i don't have to learn and all of that which is not true you definitely have to learn you have to invest in yourself because what i told you are is just the tip of the iceberg and there is a lot of things within which will help you become a global homeopath for that you have to do a lot of mindset shift and you know you have to uh, uh, become a person who actually believes in the system and only this only then the system works for you you need to believe that this online consultation thing would work for me and only then would you be getting patience so for that uh, you will have to do a lot of mindset shifts you will have to learn a lot of things you have to unlearn a lot of things you know forget all the long learnings that we have done through decades through society and stuff and that is how you can match up with the 2020 trend that's all i can say so um, all the best good luck if you have more questions just dm me on uh, my instagram profile which is uh, dr dot uh, dr omekulsum bagwala or you can visit me on my facebook page dr omekulsum bagwala essence homeopathy clinic just and you would definitely find me uh, if not if you have more questions just comment me here uh, uh, down and i'm going to answer it right away for you um, and uh, yeah all the best so just keep growing keep learning invest into self-development uh, get new resources and follow these six steps and nobody can stop you from becoming a global homeopath thank you very much all the best bye bye